this week I beg to lay the following motion stand in my name. Whereas on the section 17 of the Health and Security Levy Act, number 16 of 2023, the Act, it's provided that the Minister of Finance meet by other publishing the Gazette amend the schedules to the Act. And whereas it's fully provided on the section 17 of the Act, that an order made under that section of the Act is subject to an affirmative resolution of Parliament. And whereas the Minister of Finance provided on the section 17 of the Act that an order made under the section of the Act is subject to an affirmative resolution in, of Parliament. And whereas the Minister of Finance seeks approval of the draft health and citizen security levy, amend of schedule three order to amend schedules one, two, and three of the Act by, by an affirmative resolution of Parliament to one. In the case of Schedule 1, include the foreign goods under the foreign customs tariff. Chapter 27. Mineral fuels, mineral salts, and products of the distillation. Bitumous substances, mineral waxes. In the case of Schedule 2, include maintenance and repair of motor vehicles as a service that requires payment of a health and citizen security levy. C. In the case of Schedule 3, under Paragraph 1, include the following imported goods, customs tariff chapters as exempted goods. Chapter 88, aircraft, spacecraft, and parts thereof. Chapter 89, ships, boats, and floating structures. Chapter 19, special transactions. By, by B, delete chapter 7 from the list of exempted goods. Two, under paragraph two, include the foreign imported goods, custom tariff numbers as exempted goods. 2209.00.00, vinegar and substitutes. 2522.10.00, quick line. 2522.20.00, slick line. 2522.30.00, hydraulic line. 2523.21.00, white cement. 4014.90.00, other hygienic or pharmaceutical articles, including teats of vulcanized rubber, other than hard rubber, with or without fittings of hard rubber. B. Replace the foreign customs tariff number. Tariff subheadings and numbers 2523.10.00. Description, cement clinkers. Three, replace Fabas 5 to exempt goods pertaining to medical equipment and parts, including the goods specified in that paragraph. Replace paragraph 6 to exempt goods pertaining to security and surveillance equipment, including the goods specified in that paragraph. Four, include ex exempted goods, all classes of raw materials, all classes of raw materials and packaging materials imported for use in the manufacture of goods, local manufacture and certified as such by the ministry responsible for commerce. B, all classes of raw materials and packaging materials imported for use in the agricultural industry and certified as such by the ministry responsible for agriculture. B, result, that parliament by affirmative resolution approves the draft health and citizen security levy amendment of schedule three order, which amends the schedules one, two, and three of the act. Two, A, in the case of schedule one, include the foreign goods under the following customs tariff. Chapter 27, mineral fuels, mineral oils, and products of the distillation, bitumous substances, mineral waxes. B, in the case of schedule two, include maintenance and repair of motor vehicles as a service that requires payment of the health and security levy. C, in the case of Schedule 3, under Paragraph 1, include the following imported goods, customs tariff chapters, as exempted goods. Chapter 88, aircraft, spacecraft, and parts thereof. Chapter 89, ships, boats, and floating structures. Chapter 99, special transactions. Delete Chapter 27 from the list of exempted goods. <clears throat> under Paragraph 2, include the following imported goods, customs tariff numbers, as exempted goods. 2209.00.00. .00, Vinegars and substitutes for vinegar obtained from acetic acid. 2522.10.00, quick line. 2522.20.00, slick line. 2522.30.00, hydraulic line. 2523.21.00, white cement. 4014.90.00, other hygienic or pharmaceutical articles, including teeth of vulcanized rubber other than hard rubber with or without fittings of hard rubber. To replace the following customs tariff numbers, tariff and subheadings 
and numbers 2523.10.00. Description, Clement Clinkers. Seaman Clinkers. Three, replace paragraph five to exempt goods pertaining to medical equipment and parts, including the goods specified in that paragraph. Four, replace paragraph six to exempted goods pertaining to security and surveillance equipment, including the goods specified in that paragraph. Four, include as exempted goods, all classes of raw materials and packaging material imported for use in the manufacturing of goods by local manufacturing and certified as such by the Ministry of Ponds for Commerce, and B, all classes of raw materials and packaging materials imported for use in agriculture and certified as such by the Ministry of Ponds for Agriculture. Mr. Speaker, similar to the last res resolution, Mr. Speaker, to ensure that the manufacturing sector and the agriculture sector do not pay health and security levy on the imported raw materials. To ensure that the manufacturing sector does not pay the health and security levy on the raw materials and the packaging material similar to the agriculture sector, Mr. Speaker. Out of an abundance of clarity, the manufacturing sector will not pay health and security levy on the raw materials or on the packaging materials once it's certified by the Ministry of Commerce. And Mr. Speaker, to, to correct a discrepancy on, on um, surveillance and security equipment. Similar to the last bill, Mr. Speaker, the last resolution, to tidy up, to tidy up the goods that are not liable to pay in the health and security level. All goods that are exempt and all goods that are zero rated, speaker, do not pay the health and security level levy. And as an abundance of caution to ensure that the manufacturing sector is, does not pay a health and security levy. I ask members to support this resolution.